My dear fitness friends, today we have a full body weekend workout number two. For this workout, I'll only be using my barbell and my dumbbells. Um, I'm going to put in a two minute warm up. It'll just be a Tabata, so 20 seconds on, 10 seconds stretch. And if you need any more than that, you push pause, you get yourself all warmed up and ready to go, and then you join me for our first hit set. This format is going to fly, it's fast, there's Tabata circuits, there's reps. We're gonna get it in it together and get in and out and feel worked and accomplished. All right, I will see you on the mat in just a minute. All right, guys, I am ready to hit start on our little two minute warm up here. We're gonna do my typical walkout push up into runner's lunge stretch and pair that with, um, let's do squat touchdowns today. So we hit start, you have 10 seconds. Sound is up and ready to go. So stand up tall off the back of your mat. Nice deep Two, inhale. One. Raise your arms up. Forward fold. Walk it out. Get your push up. Step into a runner's lunge. Get all the creaks and cracks out. Put a smile on your face because you showed up today. Because you get to move your body. Walk it back. We are so lucky and so blessed that we get to do this together. So make your intentions for this workout. Squat hops, so squat touchdown, nice deep squats here. Little plyo to get your blood pumping. You carved out this time for yourself, so make it count. That means using the equipment that you have to challenge yourself today, making modifications so that the workout suits your body and your needs and what you would like to do today. Taking the authority to make those changes and feeling proud about training smart. You're here to outwork yourself today. You're here to get stronger. But remember that you are here in this present moment. So always take the moment to evaluate what your body needs today. Not what you want it to be like tomorrow or what you want it to need tomorrow. We train from where we are to get stronger, to prevent injuries, to come back again tomorrow. Okay, that's the end of our warm up. We're moving into a short hit set, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We're going through it three times using dumbbells only. We're doing sumo deadlifts. Into a suitcase squat pulse, stand and clean, and then a front squat pulse, stand and bring it back down. Okay, so just alternating front squat to suitcase squat. Chest presses and pullovers and dead bugs. So I'm gonna use 25s for the first three moves and my 12 pound dumbbells for the pullover dead bug. And I'm gonna hit start right away. 10 second countdown is on. So get your weights, get yourself all set. Sumo deadlift, toes and knees out, weights in the middle. Coming right up and down that body. Hinging forward, sticking that butt out behind you. Breathing. This is combining hit and strength. This is not the heaviest sumo deadlift you can do. <laughs> That's going to keep get you breathless. Suitcase squat pulse, stand clean, front squat pulse. So start with that suitcase squat. Down, hold and pulse. Stand, clean, front squat pulse. Bring it back down. Squat pulse, stand and clean, front squat pulse. And stand. Nice work. All right, we have our chest press on your back. Get ready to load up those weights. Press 
them up. Nice, steady pace. Again, not your heaviest chest press, but enough that you are challenged and your body is starting to adapt to picking up, pushing weights. Bring them down, grabbing my 12s. We have our dead bun with alternating pullovers. So weights are up, knees are in reverse tabletop position, opposite leg, opposite arm, extend. Lower back, take a moment to make sure it's pinned to the mat and keep it there. Pull that core in tight. Nice job. Back to the top. We have our sumo deadlifts. Dumbbells are in front of your body, coming straight up your legs. Squeezing at the top, not arching your back. Toes and knees are facing out. It's a wider stance than what you typically use. Weights come straight out from your shoulders and straight down at your body. Nice work. Squats, pulses, cleans. Let's make that squat and clean all one movement this round. Now that we're more into it, so squat down, pulse, stand and clean, front squat pulse. Clean, comes back down. Suitcase, clean. I'm taking a wider stance for my front squat. Suitcase squat, my feet are closer together. Nice work. Chest presses. This set is just flying. Get those weights up. Keep your pace as if you were lifting reps here. Squeeze that chest at the top. Be in control of the eccentric move. Don't let gravity take that away from you. Resist the weights coming down fast. Dead bugs and pullovers. Reverse tabletop position. Lower back pinned to the mat. Make sure you're breathing, exhaling at the top to keep that core contracted, the belly button to your spine. All right, we get to go through this one more time. Toes and knees are out, weights are right in front of you, but is out behind you, squeezing at the top. set to get everything pumped and primed for this workout. Everything you're doing here is going to have your body ready to make it to the next level in our next couple sets. Squat pulse, suitcase style, stand and clean, front squat, pulse, stand, suitcase, clean, Okay, 
big chest presses and dead bugs to round out this set. Get those weights up. And remember, you showed up for yourself today. That says a lot about who you are. You're taking an opportunity to make improvements in your mental and physical health. And if you're not proud of yourself for that, I am proud of you for that. And I'm telling you that you should be proud of you for that. It takes a lot of dedication and self-discipline, self-care to continually show up for yourself, whether this is a weekend or not. I am proud of you. I'm not really sure why I called this a weekend workout. Today's actually a Friday for me. So maybe this is like to take me into the weekend. <laughs> the first weekend work workout I wrote, intending to do it over the weekend, and I didn't. And I was okay with that. If you ever choose to not do a workout, you need to be okay with that too. But today you showed up, so that's what we're focusing on. <sighs> okay, we have an AM wrap which means as many rounds as possible. We're gonna go for four minutes. This is a barbell, as many rounds as possible. You'll only be using your barbell to go. Six alternating reverse lunges. Five bent arm reverse grip rows. Four power cleans. Three push-ups. Two oblique plank hops, okay? So, Kind of usually like the opposite way that we typically do our moves. Normally we would start with the oblique plank hops, push ups, then do cleans and bent rows and then reverse lunges. We're flipping it, putting that thing down, flipping it and reverse it, okay? So four minutes, it will beep every minute on the minute just to let us know where we are at. This will go by in a blink of an eye. 10 second countdown is on. So starting with those alternating reverse lunges for six reps. Three. I'm gonna count on one leg only. If you would like to get through this more rounds, do a single count. It's your as many rounds as possible, not mine. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, unload, swing it down to get a reverse grip, five bent rows, palms facing forward, one, two, three, four, five, set it down, grip back to normal, four power cleans, one,
power cleans. One, two, three, four, three push ups. One, two, three, two oblique plank ups. Final 60 seconds. Two. All right, I'm doing one clean press right into my reverse lunges. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Unload. Reverse grip. Get one row. Nice. <sighs> Told you that would go by a blink. That was so fast. Okay. We're on to our first Tabata circuit. Four moves. Tabata style, circuit style, meaning you only do each move two times, okay? We're doing push ups, alternating plank rows, plank hop deadlift, and clean and presses. Yes, it's a broken man maker. You'll notice the theme here. I'm hitting start. You've got a 10 second countdown. I'm going with 25s. Doing my push ups right on top of my dumbbells. You do not have to. You can do your push ups on the ground. Let's go. Did your first sweat drops show up to this party yet? <laughs> Get down in between those dumbbells. Nice work. You got plank rows, alternating. No push-ups, you're welcome. <laughs> Try to keep your hips facing the ground. Stop yourself from rocking back and forth by squeezing your glutes, keeping that core tight. Relying on that lat, back, shoulder, trap to row your weights. Plank hop, deadlift. I'm gonna do a suitcase style deadlift, so I'm gonna hop right in between my weights. All right, we got cleaner presses. And then we just go through this one more time. So fast. Powerful. Strong, keeping that rib cage down, squeezing those glutes. Okay, you're back to the top of push ups. It's only 20 seconds. Do a full push up, chest to the mat. Even if you have to go to your knees. Plank rows are next. By the way, I did not pick to do this workout today. <laughs> Kristen River did. We had a stack of workouts for the week. And she, of course, texts me at like 6.30 in the morning. And I'm like, well, I'm ready to go. What workout are we doing? And I'm like, I just opened my eyes. Uh, what? Look, there's two of them. Do you have the There's two of them. Oh, my goodness. Plank hop deadlifts. She texts 
asked me at 6.30 in the morning, asked asked me what workout to do, and I said, I couldn't think about it yet. <laughs> I, I just could not wrap my mind around working out yet. And I said, I don't care if you pick. And this is what she picked for us. Mind you, this workout has a ton of push-ups. And we just did chest yesterday. I'm like, girl. I do love a push-up. I don't really love a routine full of them the day after a heavy chest day. Bring it down. You're out of the toilet circuit. Okay. 21s. This is a set of biceps and shoulder 21s. You're going to do them back to back. Drop your weights and back to back one more time. I'm going with 15s and then I'm dropping to 12. 15s is going to be a doozy. <laughs> you can do your best, okay? I'm doing the hammer style because that's just more comfortable with these larger um, dumbbells. So lower, lower part of a bicep curl for seven reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, upper part. One, two, I'm turning them forward, three, Four, five, six, seven. Full curls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get up to your shoulders. Lower part of a shoulder press for seven. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Upper part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chuck your rib cage. Keep it down. Seven full. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, <sighs> burns, so good. That is what we came here for, drop your weight, go a little lighter, this is a drop set, you keep going, seven lower curls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, upper, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, full curls, one, two, don't rock, three, don't swing, four, control the negative, five, six, seven, presses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four presses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, that created such a flame. Oh my goodness. Fired up. Oh, I love it. Okay. <laughs> we have another Tabata circuit. This time it is a broken up tricep maker. So we start with tricep push-ups. Move on to plank hop. I'm sorry, plank alternating kickbacks, oblique plank hop, knee drives. I threw that in there. Adding a little core, okay? And then we're doing bent single, single, double kickbacks. Hitting start, I'm going with my 12s. Tricep push-ups are where you are starting. Elbows in, 
Hands go right underneath your armpits. Chest to the mat. Keep it tight. It's only 20 seconds. You've done worse. You've done more. Okay, plank, alternating tricep kickbacks. So you get a little row, you get a kickback. Let's go, row it up, kick it back. Control the negative. Don't let your hips twist out of control. Do your best to squeeze your whole core and glutes to keep it all tight and in line. Nice. Okay, oblique plank hop, knee drive. So you hop to the side that you're knee driving towards. So hopping to the left, knee driving to the left. Hopping to the right, knee driving to the right. work. Bent, single, single, double, kickbacks. So stand up, hinge forward, butt out, flat back, single, single, double. Stay right here. work. Back to your tricep push-ups. One more round here. Guys, we're closing in on the end already. Trust me. Tricep push-ups. work. Plank alternating kickbacks. Let's get it. exactly what you're meant to be doing. If your mind is starting to wander, pull it back to the present. This is a gift. It is the present. Focus on your hop. Core tight, knee drive. If you want to get lost in your thoughts, make sure that it is a good place to be. You're not thinking about your target pickup order or what you forgot to add to your list. You're thinking about your body moving and getting stronger and bigger. And that you took this opportunity to get rid of any stress, to help you reframe any negative thoughts for the future. Okay, we got combo move pyramids. Five reps to one rep. Beginning with a single leg push-up, kneeling cleans, Turkish presses per side, okay? So, I'm gonna go with a 25. It is a staggered single leg push-up. The leg that is up is the, wind, is the side that the weight is on, okay? When you come up, you bring that leg that is up, up. You're cleaning from the outside of your leg, <laughs> okay? So just be aware of that change that we're gonna have to make when you, when you come up to the kneel. Put your foot on the inside of that weight, okay? Let's go single leg push-ups for five. One, two, three, four, five. Bring that foot to the inside of the weight, come to a kneel. Clean for five. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Cl
two, three, four, five. Turkish presses. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Put that leg back up. Step back into a big runner's lunge. Four push-ups. One, two, three, four. Weight foot that's inside the weight. Come to your knee. I'll clean for four. One, two, three, four. Press for one, two, three, four. Weight comes down. Big lizard lunge here. Single leg push up for three. One, two, three. Inside of that foot. One, two, three. One, two, three. I know that that is hard after all those presses. You've got two and one. Let's go. One, two. Inside of that foot on that weight. One, two. One, two. I am on fire with that shoulder too. Let's go. One. sides. That brought some heat, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, set yourself up. Right hand is under the, on the weight. Right foot is going to be in the air. Julie Larson just commented on, um, <laughs> on a post that said she just got rid of again. <laughs> I think that's so funny. She said that when she gets like she gets tricked by a customer to work out thinking it's gonna be easy, but then it's like super hard, she gets riddered. Okay, single leg push up for five, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Foot to the inside of that weight, come to your knee. Clean for five. One, two, three, four, five. Press it up. One, two, three, four, five. Bring it down. Big lizard lunge. Bring it back up. Four single leg push ups. One, two, three, four. Clean for four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Three reps. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. You've got two, and I've got sweat in my eye really bad. <laughs> Let's go. One, two. One, two. One, two. You got one. Set it down. Shake it out. Okay. We have rollouts from our knees to our belly. Core move. Trying to hold your body straight as you pull back in. Deadlifts. Hang power cleans, the fast kind from your hips. 
and box squats. Five reps to one rep. Get your dumbbells out of the way. Make sure your box is situated right where you need it to be. So you don't have to do too much lining up. And let's do it. If you do not like to roll out to your belly, if that is not in your wheelhouse for today, you just do a regular roll out or you do a walk out. Make your modifications. We've got five. All the way out, all the way back up. One. Try not to hinge at your hips when you're coming up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hop to your feet. Five deadlifts. One. Two, three, four, five. Power cleans. One, two, three, four, five. Box squats. One, two, three, four. Five. Onto your knees or some from your feet, however you're doing it for rollouts. One. Two.
combo move. And I realized I forgot to tell you to use kettlebells in this workout, but hopefully you have them nearby. What are you doing? A kettlebell diamond push-up, swings, deadlifts, and tactical lunges. And guess what? You're done with your barbell work for the day. So go ahead and get that out of your way. I'm gonna go with my 60 for this. This is your final combo move. After this, all you have left is one last Tabata circuit, which I bet you can guess what it is. A broken down bicep maker and a core party to finish us off. So let's get this. Five diamond push-ups. One, two, three, four, five. Hop it up. Oops, halfway hop up. Five swings. One, two, three, four, five. Five deadlifts. One, two, three, four, five. Tactical lunges. One leg count only. One, two, three, four, five. Sit down. Four reps. One. Two, three, four. Four swings. One, two, three, four. Four deadlifts. One, two, three, four. Tactical lunges. One,
reverse grip, bicep curls. <laughs> reverse grip plank, alternating bicep curls. Again, do your best to quit your, keep your hips facing the ground, not rocking. Keep those shoulders down, away from your ears. Nice job. Plank hop, plank tuck jump. You can have regular plank hold here. So plank hop, plank tuck, plank hop, tuck. All right, single, single, double, bicep curls. Stand up tall, shoulders down and back, rib cage down, palms forward. Single, controlling the negative elbows in at your ribs. Single, double. We get our back to the top after this, deep. One more time through. Reverse grip push-ups. And then all we have left in this workout is our little mini core party. A tiny little party that I don't want to attend by myself. So stay here. Come with me. Grip plank, alternating bicep curls. Let's go. Tight core, squeeze your glutes, shoulders away from your ears. Try to really make that bicep muscle. Focus on what you're doing. It's the top part of a bicep curl. Nice. Plank hop, plank tuck jump. So, coming to my left side first, V up, 
Coming to the center, V up. Coming to the right side, V up. Always hit that middle one. That's the hardest one. Our fourth move is bicycle tuck-ups. These are all hard core moves, I get it. But we're only doing it three times, so we wanna make it count. So bicycle tuck-ups, modification, regular bicycles. Or regular bicycles for one, two, three, four, then get back to your tuck-ups. Listen, this is really hard for me too. Big scissor legs are next. They're like your little break. Big scissors. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Fight through it with me. I am right here with you. I know this is hard. Take a reset if you need it. I just needed one. How holds. Remember, when you hit failure here, come up into a high boat. Hold for a second, come back down to your hollow hold. Hitting failure is just outworking. It's just that I put too many hard lower core moves right next to each other without any rest. It does not mean weakness. It means you showed up and outworked yourself today. Three way knee ups are next. Take a moment to reset in between each of your VFs by putting your legs on the ground. If you're feeling like I am right now, and all sorts of outworked. <laughs> we have bicycle tuck-ups next, which can be modified to be regular bicycles. Or you can do four tuck-ups, four bicycles. You don't have to marry a modification. You can just sneak it in there. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four regular bicycles. Tuck it up for one, two, three, four. Four regular, one, two, three, four. Four tuck ups, oh, I'm not there. One, two, big scissor legs. Final round, reset here for just two seconds. One, two, bring those legs up. Big scissors. Failure. We reached it. I reached it. You might not have. We have hollow holds with the modification of a high bolt. Listen, I know this is not easy. My lower core is just on fire, too. Let's get in it. You have less than a minute left in this workout. A minute and 13 seconds. Three-way V-ups are next. Stay here for less than 10. Let's go V-ups. Remember, you can reset your legs. Come here to outwork ourselves, and we have gotten to that point. I am so proud of us. Can you smile through your outwork? Bicycles for four. One, two, three, four. Tuck ups for four. One, two, three, four. Bicycles. Four tuck ups. Bicycles. Oh my goodness. 
We have made it. Oh. <laughs> Give yourself a round of applause. I did not realize that that party was gonna be so painful. <laughs> so thank you for sticking with me through that. If you hit failure like me, awesome job. If you have a great sweat angel right there on the mat, give it a high five. She did great. Guys, I love you so much. I will see you at the next workout.